Okay, so I just got a French lesson from Nick. The whole the whole time I've been overheard you say he he, he he let me do the whole vlog before he told me it's Jean George, not Jean George. So make sure you get it right when you come in. It's Jean George, <laughs> like Jean Claude Van Bar. We're at the Aria today because my good friend Nick, this is the way Las Vegas, invited me to dinner at Gene George's Steakhouse. And as I walked in the front door, I didn't realize Aria loved me so much that they commemorated a statue of me right in the entry. I invite you all to come rub my belly because I am good luck. That's enough screwing around with the Buddha. Heading upstairs now, check out this restaurant. Some of the YouTubers have already been there. I've never been here. It's Nick's last night here, I believe, at Gene George's. So I needed to make sure that I come uh, bid him farewell. This is the Christopher Walken art wall. One of my favorite actors. Here's, what's up, brother? Welcome to the other me. This is the way we eat at John George Steakhouse. Uh, this is my last night working in here. Yeah, I know, that's why I came. I wanted to make sure I wasn't the only one that missed it. This is it. I Gotta come hang out with my brother. And then I'll be off for a week. Carbone, the Italian restaurant. Next oh, week. so I got to come over there next. That's a new place to come. Oh hell yeah! Is that that's not new though, is it? It's about five years old. It's the newest mm. restaurant here. This is pretty posh, man. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty posh. Got all these uh, fancy steaks, million dollar wine uh, wine wall. Here. Oh, that's right. That's a million dollar wine wall. And I'm gonna sneak through there in a minute. Nick brought us out this really good looking bread. The goal was to get the recipe for this before I quit, but I, I never got the recipe. I'm gonna have to still. It's either that or red lobster, I don't know what's better. <laughs> I like all bad. This or red lobster. I like all bread too, clearly. So Nick brought this little, uh, I, I don't know what it is. It's, I, I have no clue what this is. Something with a truffle. He says it's for VIPs. And uh, I, I gotta ask him what it is before I eat it, because I have no clue. All right, here we go. It's a fried rice ball with a uh, truffle on it. And white sauce. Is it made with milk? Uh, no. All right. Here we go. Nick just said, stick the whole thing in your mouth. That is freaking delicious. Wow. I was scared. I really was. So one of the appetizers here is ribs. And they look really, really good. But the other appetizer is bacon wrapped shrimp. Nick is the man. That looks so delicious. I cannot wait to bite into that. All right, so we're gonna Take a bite of the bacon wrapped shrimp. It sits on a little bit of avocados and it looks like maybe tangerine or something. Mm. 
something warm citrus. That's it, guys. The masterpiece. It's amazing. It is so freaking delicious. It's unbelievable. It's a fancy restaurant, and I'm eating with my fingers. <laughs> This is a pork rib. We're gonna give it a shot. Holy cow. That's super, super tender. Doesn't that look just freaking amazing? All right, Jacksons, here's the comparison. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different level of steak. It is super tender, melts in your mouth. USDA. USDA. I'm listening to Nick over here, Colorado Prime. USDA, Colorado they bought it at Walmart on the way here tonight. It is delicious. These steaks, this steak does not need steak sauce, but they brought out their own kind of like a habanero blend that they make themselves. And uh, I'm gonna take a bite of that and see how it is. That was really a piece of fat. That's all it was. Um, I'm eating it. Completely melted in my mouth. Steak sauce is no joke. Got a little bit of a kick. Super, super good. Made in house, I believe. Doesn't really need it, but I wanted to try it. Wow. That, it just like totally changed. It's like a cheesy habanero. It tastes like it's got cheese in it. It's just amazing. All these steak sauces are made in house, right, Nick? Yeah. They're all made in house, but that one right there, the habanero, and it does have cheese in it. That is. That is that is dangerous. It is that good. It's delicious. <laughs> and now the creme de la creme. The reason why everybody comes down here. Well, not the reason why everybody comes down here. It's just a really cool dessert, and you're gonna see it right now. This is David, guys. He's one of the. Servers, bartenders, I would say it was one of the bartenders down here at Gene George's Steakhouse. So when you guys, oh, you're not going to be here no more, are you? No, no, I'll be, uh, I'll be at the Lift Bar and High Limit Lounge yeah, downstairs. So check him out at the Lift Bar and High Limit Lounge downstairs. It's a pleasure meeting you, man. It's very nice to meet you guys. I'm glad you guys enjoyed everything. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. Check it out. All right, go ahead. Tell me what it so is. So this is the warm Valhalla cake, and it has chocolate fuds inside it. But the white ball made out of white chocolate with ice cream inside. You pull the hot fuds on it, and it opens it up. And the, the trick is you got to get all three of the chocolates and a piece of ice cream in your mouth at the same time, and it's the best thing in the world. And then we have cherry sorbet. Yes. With a little mint spray. With a little mint. With a mint spray. And this is all made in house, too. Oh, all is it? This stuff is made in house. Like this bread, this, this cake, 
it, it's, it's, it, it's in batter right now. When I ordered it, they put it in a little mold and they baked it fresh, like just now. This wow. Is the molds and they melt them, they put ice cream and they melt it together. And all the ice cream and all the sugar, everything's made in house. Nothing's, nothing's bought off the, off the shelf. That's cool. Yeah. Even though all that steak, like that steak came in earlier today and a hump of steak like this. Yep, they grew the cow in the back since it was born. He's been these and up and down the elevator feedings and <laughs> I gotta mess with him a little bit. That chocolate cake oh, okay, is okay. out my of bad, this world. It is warm. It is chocolatey. I you that show. And this is sorbet. Yeah, just the show. Mm. Oh, it's probably top two. And it's all made in-house. Delicious. All right, say something funny. Something funny. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, big guy. I appreciate it. Everything. That was amazing, my friend. That's pretty good. So good to see you in the workplace, too. Yeah, uh, the first time coming in. We're going to be going to another steakhouse in a couple weeks, right? Oh, yeah, we're going to Oscars. Oscars yeah. yeah. Appreciate you, my friend. Thanks for coming in. Oh, of course. I appreciate it. That was super cool of Nick to have us down here tonight. Love the food, love the place. It is a little bougie, but you know, I may do it more than once. Pretty cool. Anyway, if you guys like the video, you know what to do. See you on the next one. That is the trippiest thing ever. How it has all those words like that on the wall. This is where you pick up your car from valet. For $21, zero to two hours. Insane, right?